What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today we're finally going to build the foot pegs for the mini chopper. Now in the last video a lot of people was telling me I needed foot pegs and I just kept forgetting to get the metal. So today we're finally going to do just that. We're going to pull that old engine off because we got a new Powerland Electric Star engine that I built to go on this bike. So we don't have to pull start it anymore and we'll have charging coils. Uh, so we're going to get that motor removed and get these foot pegs built so we can get ready for the new engine to be put on on the next episode. Uh, so let's get to it guys. Okay, so I was in co-op today getting bolts and I seen this strap, this steel strap for a tractor. So I thought this would be perfect to uh, make my foot pegs out of. So what I did was I put uh, a piece of pipe inside the pipe that the pedals used to run through just to make up the gap so I can put a piece of one inch pipe sticking out. So basically, if I bore this hole out just a little bit, it'll slide over that one inch pipe and it'll pretty much kick out like this. Now I don't want it this long of course, so I'm gonna cut it down, do a little bit of a bend in the last inch or so of this, and then I'm gonna take the pedals off of the old pedal assemblies and bolt it right to this. So it'll turn out looking like this right here. And then of course all these pipes will be welded and it'll look nice. I know it's kinda of hard to uh, explain it, but so it's gonna slide right on this one inch piece of pipe and of course be welded like I said and stick about like that and then there'll be a pipe in the center here connecting the two and I may do a little kick down to the bottom of this uh, pedal or this kickstand bracket just to strengthen it all because I mean you shouldn't have much weight but just the weight of your leg you know I don't want anything to ever you know bend down or anything which it shouldn't this is pretty thick metal but yeah it'll look about like that and these pedals you know still spin freely so you can get your foot in a comfortable position so I'm going to start making the other side so we can uh, tack these all in place, find the right angle of both of them, and uh, get these foot pegs done. All 
So the reason I'm drilling these holes in the frame is because I have this piece of metal right here that's gonna get inserted inside this channel and it has a inside diameter of one inch. So the one inch pipe can stick out a little bit and those foot pegs, the brackets can slide onto it. So now I can fill this up with weld and weld this from you know moving any. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. You know, do a uh, probably two holes would be fine, and then you know fill these all up with weld, welding these two pieces of pipe uh, to make it one. You can see that uh, I got those three holes filled up with weld. I wanted to do three more on the opposite side, but I probably don't need it because uh, the only thing this is keeping this from doing is, is rotating and sliding out. But I may do some welds around the edges right here. So these pedals will now, you know, slide right onto there and I can position them how I want to, you know, and then tack it into place in two spots set on the bike, you know, and test fit everything. And then I can finally cut my bar to go across. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prep my other bar like this and uh, I'll do it on camera so you can see how I kind of uh, made this little thing right here. And then we can start, you know, getting them all lined up and uh, get these things done. So as you can see, I just notched it so I could get a bend to uh, match that one that I put the pedal on. Now I can line this up and it looks like, it does look like I have the correct, the correct uh, cut and notch on that. So now what I can do is clean the paint up on each side of this and I can fill that whole cut up with weld to make that a, a solid joint and then drill my hole for my pedal to thread into. My bit is uh, worn out so I'm gonna grab a die grinder and uh, go around this thing
the original handlebars uh, to make a support that'll go right in between the tires right here, or right in between the tire and the frame. And this will just help these from being so flimsy. I mean, it's gonna be hard to keep flat stock from you know flexing, but this is gonna add quite a bit of strength to it. And it's pretty cool because it has that V uh, and its original handlebars off the back. So we've uh, repurposed the original handlebars and the, the foot pedals, which I'm gonna pop these reflectors out because I already did on this side. And uh, and I need to finish welding the back sides and weld all the way around these foot pegs. I'm gonna jack the lift up to do that and then clean this flat stock. You can see, you know, these have a little bit of movement and that's just from being a long flat piece of steel. So that should stiffen it up quite a bit and give it a pretty cool look. Probably gonna go from this point and take a piece of, uh, probably a piece of round stock and weld to the tip of this and slant it up and uh, may do some sheet metal work to kind of make a fairing on it. But don't know yet, but that's awesome. Gonna look great, let's get it done. Shut the dang camera off. All right, so we got that all welded in and it looks pretty nice and it's really strong. It added a lot of strength to this frame. Uh, this will probably be, after Lonnie's bike, we will not be messing with these frames anymore. They're really thin and honestly, I could have rebuilt this frame with a Springer uh, front end and the shocks on the rear pretty much with the same amount of time it's took to modify this frame. So we will be building a true from the ground up chopper eventually on the channel. Uh, we're just gonna get this one done for now and uh, call it a cigarette. So there is some welds I need to get up under. These are only welded on the top sides. Uh, so later I can stand it up on its rear tire and weld the bottoms just to get it, you know, fully welded all the way around. And uh, I'm going to spike, put spikes in these uh, ends right here that stick out. I think it'll look pretty cool. I just need to uh, either find something that resembles spikes or uh, order something that will look pretty cool. But she's coming along. So now uh, pretty much we're ready for the motor to get installed. Uh, after I finish, uh, make sure I've welded everything back here, you know, up under here, because I don't want the motor on there close to uh, to the weld. So yeah, she's coming along pretty nice. I'm getting excited. I want to set on it now, but uh, that's what she said. Um, I want to set on this now to you know make sure they're. I mean, they're they're there now. It should be in a real comfortable spot. But I really like the way they look. It's cool that I was able to use those uh, handlebars. Uh, that's pretty cool in my book. But I did think about also bringing something up from here to this. I might even take something from here and just slant it up. Just a, I'm an overdoer. I'd rather know it's never going to break instead of uh, you know risking it. There's no way this thing's going to break though. But you know, perfectionist here. So yeah, we'll uh, carry on on this uh, motorcycle build. Guys, let me know what you think of this thing in the comment section below. It's starting to look awesome. I love these foot pegs. It's actually really comfortable. And uh, on the next episode, we'll get that new engine mounted and we'll get to finally take it down, down the road with proper foot pegs. There's still a lot to go on this bike. I do have hydraulic brakes. I have motorcycle wheels. I have pit bike forks and a pit bike triple clamp. So uh, we're, we got a lot to go on this bike, but she's gonna get done in, in good timing. Uh, make sure you go to Go Power Sports and use that 10% discount code REDBEARD to save 10% on all your go kart and mini bike needs. Go check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Give us a like and follow there, where you'll see pictures of this stuff before it comes out on the channel. And uh, guys, thank you so much for the support. We just got over 16,000 subscribers, and I couldn't have none of this without you guys. So uh, thank you so much for the uh, for the support. And always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.